Earlier this summer, we told you about a new $2 billion expansion at the very large array. That collection of antennas west of Socorro, the ones that look like giant satellite dishes. Now UNM is getting on board with the plans to grow. Jonathan Fiel takes us to the VLA. The future of the very large array is on the horizon. It's a new frontier in science observations for sure. Eric Murphy is the project scientist for the Next Generation VLA. The NG VLA will expand the number of antennas from 27 to 160 and add hundreds of jobs to the area. Yeah, the, the idea would be to really, you know, continue New Mexico to be a world center for radio astronomy and build out a new science and data center. And the University of New Mexico is in on it. Um, rather than partnering with universities outside the state to uh, build out and operate that instrument, they want to partner with UNM to do that. UNM signed a memorandum showing the potential they have to collaborate on this project with the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. And we'll be exploring uh, the possibility of getting uh, their science team, which is expected to be about 200 uh, PhD radio astronomers, here physically on campus at UNM so that our students and faculty are working with them day in and day out. The National Science Foundation recently gave them $21 million to advance a three to five year design process. They're currently working to build the first prototype antenna. Once the design is approved and Congress approves the funds, construction will begin. That is set for 2028. At that point, we will continue to operate the VLA in some form or another to um, continue critical science operations um, until the point where we can actually turn the new facility on and, and achieve uh, similar capabilities. Until then, you can still visit the current VLA and see it at work. Jonathan Field, KOB4.